last minute. Going to Mombasa to unwind. Yeah. Life is for the living, man. Apart from the tickets, there is two things which I must have before leaving the house. That is my charger and my passport. Immediately I arrived at Nairobi CBD, I went direct to the junction between River Road and Accra Road. That's why I booked Tami tickets. Then after confirming everything was said, I had to take a walk. Unlike daytime, during night, every venter comes to the streets, so Nairobi becomes a marketplace. In case you want a cheap attire, visit Nairobi during the night. Najua we kama Nairobi na ukitaki uraisi, wataka kujipeleka gikomba without that crowd. So in case you want cheap things, don't have to go to Gikomba. Save your time and come here during the night. Meanwhile, we're trying to get psyched up before our journey to Mombasa starts. So we're supposed to have a road trip from Nairobi CBD to Mombasa, Mwembe Tayari. The fact that we headed to Swahili Nation, whenever we were with the Galatians, you behave like them. Expect a mix of languages today. In case I'm in a position to talk in my mother tongue, then definitely I will. If you are a girl, you school in Nairobi, and during your school days, no one took you to the littles, then count yourself unlucky. On my right, you can see galitos, yeah? These are joints so popular with pizzas. You going to Galitos to party, it doesn't mean that everyone is lucky to enjoy the same privilege you enjoy. We still have someone homeless, someone without the assurance that they're going to get food. It's the high time we start boarding the bus and our road trip to official start. Now that this is a big company serving East Africa, we have to make sure that no one headed to Bongo, headed to Dar es Salaam, board the bus to Mombasa. So with that, we have to get our tickets verified. Our journey started at exactly 15 minutes past 9. 
It's now about 30 minutes past 1 a.m. Hmm? When Makwani County, Mutuandem, which is the town between Nairobi and Mombasa. It's been um, almost five years. I haven't used a bus through Mombasa Road. So this is a very unique experience. Mchwande um, is a Kamba word meaning a jungle of vultures. You know what a vulture is? So the story has been um, when Europeans were, were laying down the railway line from Mombasa to Kisumu. These guys used to be consumed by the lions along Savo. So their remains will be taken, will still, will still be taken away by the vultures. So, to one day, the jungle of vultures. Today, we're enjoying a pillow. with soap. How do you eat pilau with soup? It's an adventure, so we free for anything. Most important is we enjoy. Hey. Let me show the, you the other side of me. Am I the only person who does this? Have I got to a hotel? We're eating different. Mm. My friend is down. <laughs> you already, already completed. Driver Menuka. So whenever you're eating here, you always make, always make sure that uh, the driver doesn't finish earlier than you. Or else you risk being left here. And the painful part is that there's no booking of you know, this place. It's meat. Do you do you mind about? I have to make sure that I haven't left anything behind. Let me give a free advert. This is the bus I'm using.
Eight hours later, we were in Mumbatari, Karibu Mombasa. Here we say, Kuingia Raisi, Kutoka Ngumu. It's so easy to get to the city of Mombasa, but it's very hard to get out of it. But they can make a good out. Oh yeah, yeah, baba, baba, I'm going to miss you. But can you get us to India, me and the Kusi? Raisi. The Bible way. I don't know what that means. I can see some wordings on the wall. The Bible way ministries. Oh, that's a church. The first impression you get about Mombasa is a clean city, a beautiful city, and a peaceful one. Then definitely don't forget the Santorini mood, the blue and white colors. This is the only city I can comfortably vlog on the streets and no one snatches my phone. Kenya is so much known for the Matatu culture and I swear the culture we have in Mombasa beats Nairobi.
in the Swahili speaking coastal city of Kenya and the second largest city in the country, Mombasa. I'm in a way. 